Dear friends, uh, welcome again to this third video on the spiritual language for COVID-19. In the last video, I talked about the importance of uh, solitude in a time that we are called for uh, social distancing. So what do we do? How do we find solitude? One of the ways uh, that we can uh, experience uh, solitude or what do we do in solitude is through prayer and meditation. So you can do this as individuals, but also as families. So what is prayer? Prayer is uh, commonly defined by spiritual writers as lifting the heart, soul, and mind to God. Lifting up our heart, our soul, and mind to God. But we know that's not an easy thing because our minds are like, as long as we are awake, it's running around all the time. It's full of thoughts and distractions. And now we have a, a world that is full of distractions. So how? So raising up the mind, heart, and soul is not that simple. So to help us raise our minds and heart to God, the gurus in spiritual spirituality and prayer, uh, they have taught us that one of the ways to free our minds from distractions is to, use, is to keep on repeating a word. Uh, Asian uh, spiritual gurus call this the mantra. We just keep on repeating a word, like Jesus. Uh, uh, and the word that we recommend in, uh, in Christian uh, contemplation is uh, Maranatha, which is the Aramaic word the language that Jesus used for uh, come Lord Jesus and so when you keep just uh, keep on repeating the your mantra or the word it helps you to be silent it helps you to be to be uh, to be free from the distractions just by focusing on your word and the word that we teach you here is ma ra na just keep on saying that. And so uh, the, the silence helps us then to raise our mind, our heart of, of, and our hearts to God, less free from the, the distractions that can lead us away to God. A young man wanted to learn how to pray, and he, so he went to a, a guru or a monk and asked him to teach me how to pray. And so the monk said, well, if you want to pray, you have to be, you have to meditate. And so the young man said, what is meditation? And the, the monk said, silence. And what is silence? Meditation. And what is meditation? So they, they just kept on uh, spinning around on these two very important words, silence, meditation, as the key thing to prayer. And the, the the gurus in spirituality and prayer, they say meditation is pure prayer. Because in meditation, we are not talking to God. We are not asking God that we, many of us do that when we come to prayer. We ask. It's not bad. We're not praising God. We're not even thinking about God. But in meditation, we are being present. Being present to God. We're not talking, we're not thinking, we're not asking. We are just being present to God, like two lovers. They don't need to be talking, but they are totally, fully present to each other. And so this is uh, what we do in solitude. We are, we are being present to God. So we, during this uh, time of uh, social isolation, uh, lockdown, spend time to meditate as a individually as a person and you can also set a time to meditate uh, with your family you know, can set a time for a quiet time 
and everybody find a quiet place, turn off everything that distracts TV, cell phones, close your eyes, sit still, keep your back straight, breathe deeply, and then begin to repeat your word. You can, be, you can use this word, Maranatha, come Lord Jesus. And this will help you to be silent and to be present to God. And then, uh, we Fijians, we, like, we are very social people, and we like meeting people. But to grow into our fuller self, we need to be in touch with ourselves. To be at home, we need solitude, we need meditation. It's okay to tell others that uh, we want to be alone, because we need this quiet time to be in touch with ourselves and God. And uh, when we make this journey, to ourselves, we, we have a healthy mind, healthy heart, healthy soul, then it helps us to have a healthy body.